Welcome to Data Axle Reference Solutions, formerly known as Reference USA. This online database is freely available to anyone with a full service Virginia Beach Library card. It is a business resource widely used by academic and public libraries throughout the United States. To access this resource using your library card, go to the library's homepage at vbgov dot com forward slash libraries. On the left hand side of the page, select digital library and then arrow down to the word research. This will populate a list of the library's databases from A to Z. Next, arrow down to data axle reference solutions. You will see that the home page displays 10 modules that make up the database. For the training, we will look at six of the modules. You may want to look at the other four on your own. They're easy to use. Toward the top of the page, above the gray banner that says, Premier Source of Information for Reference and Research, you will see on the right-hand side of the screen the phrase Learning Center. Here you will find free training guides on using this database. These are short and helpful when needing a refresher. One question you may ask is where does the information on businesses come from? The list includes yellow and white pages of telephone books, annual reports, 10K reports, SEC information, the Chamber of Commerce, trade publications, the post office, just to name a few. Information for U.S. Consumer Lifestyles module is obtained from real estate lists, tax information, newspaper and magazine subscriptions. If you look at the far right-hand side of the page, under U.S. businesses, you will see that there are at this time 15 million businesses available for researching. All information is updated weekly. Now let's perform a simple or quick search. On the left hand side of the page, halfway down, select U.S. Business Module by clicking on it. The next screen will display several boxes labeled Company Name, Executive Name, City, State, and Phone Number. Under Company Name, let's type in the name Panera Bread. For City, put in Virginia Beach. arrow down under state and choose Virginia. Now let's view results bottom right hand side. Now you'll see there is a list of Panera Bread companies in Virginia Beach giving executive name, street address, zip code, and corporate tree symbol. If you click on the corporate symbol it will take you to the parent company now you'll see the number of employees and sales volume. The small gray box to the left of the company name with the abbreviation PV indicates that it is a private parent company. Now let's go back to the previous screen with the five Panera Bread listings using the blue back arrow on the top right. Right above the company listings you will see seven blue tabs above and below the company information. As you can see, they are labeled details, heat map, summary, charts, download, print, and save search. Before selecting details, let's choose the company located on Constitution Drive. Now select the Details tab. This screen will provide Indeed job openings where available, the industry profile, which gives the SIC Standard Industrial Classification Code, and NAICS codes, North American Industrial Classification System, the business profile where available, along with a map, directions, and satellite locations. Business demographics includes the number of employees, type of business, be it public or private, whether a parent company, branch, or subsidiary, when the information was last updated on, IUSA, lawyer, identification number, number of years in business, square footage of the building, 
credit rating. Always good to know if you are planning to do business with a company. Hours of operation. Management directory, providing name of the CEO or manager. Company news, when available. Stock exchange information as it applies. Business expenditures, gives estimated annual expenses, list of years in business and their locations. The uniform commercial code filing, the names of nearby businesses. Business size history charts, uh, displaying sales volumes for a variety of years, and the other chart displaying employee size. You also will find, if you expand the information on your right at the very bottom of your screen, where it says competitors report, this will provide a list of competitors. Next, let's go back. We will look at the heat map, again using the back arrow. We will go back and select all five to display them on our heat map. The heat map feature gives map locations of branches of the same company as well as points of interest near the business. These include major roads, highways, schools and libraries, major attractions like sports facilities, historic points of interest, parks, museums, colleges and universities, restaurants, police and fire, and convenience stores. You may want to locate your business near one of these facilities to gain greater customer traffic. Or if you are in a competing business, you may decide not to be close to your competitor and we will look at summary. This term will allow the data to be broken down into specific fields such as SIC or NICS code, sales volume, employee size, and or geography using zip code, area code, carrier route, and charts. The download tab allows you to customize your format for exporting data. Save search, you can save your search to your email. Now we're going to go back and we're going to look at briefly advanced searching. Advanced searching, if you go back to the beginning of Data Axel Reference Solutions using the U.S. Business Database, you will see on the left hand side of the screen additional filters in blue letters. Using this feature, you can mine down to specific geographical areas types of businesses, customer interests, and more. We will study this feature more in depth in part two of Data Axel Reference Solutions. I hope this introductory presentation was helpful. Please check out part two, Advanced Search of Data Axel Reference Solutions.